Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're going to do some crafting tonight and we are going to make some little crosses. So y'all come on in and have a seat and let's craft. So anyway, I've got some sticks from my yard and this is what we're going to use. I'm going to sit here and let me break off some of these little branches. Hello, Luann. Hey, my friend. <clears throat> I need my chair needs to go up or something. Hey, Vicky. My chair is not right. Okay. Look, like I'm sitting. Hey, Danielle. Okay. I was sitting. I felt like I was sitting on the floor or something. Hey, Lori. <clears throat> Hello, Rebecca. So I have got. We're gonna make something tonight with all this stuff that's pretty much free in your yard. Well, most of it's gonna be free from your yard. <laughs> hey, Joanne, hello, Jill, how are y'all? Hello, Jane, yay, thank y'all for hopping on. We are gonna make some little crosses out of these sticks and kind of fix them up. I got a, a hair that's gone rogue or something over here. It's tickling my forehead and I can see it. <laughs> Hey, Sandra. Hey, Diana. Hello, Tammy. Hey, Jane. Y'all come on in. Hey, Sherry. I'm good. Hey, Trava. I'm happy you're here, too. So, I've got, went outside yesterday before the torrential storm came. Hey, Leah. Hello, Paula. And I collected all these little sticks because I knew that they would be wet otherwise. But look, I've got quite a bundle of little sticks. Um, hey, Wendy. Hey, Rhonda. Um, and, you know, I had this plan to do last night, but of course, I couldn't do it because the storm came through. And y'all, it came through about 7 o'clock. And when I tell you it came through with a vengeance, I would have been out here worried to death the tornado was coming if I was live. Hey, Deb. Hey, Marie. Hello. Yeah, it's so sad, Linda. I, we saw it this morning when we woke up. It's good, Shirley. It's cool, but it's good. It's um, it's it was sunny most of the day today. It started off cloudy and then it turned off sunny. So anyway, hey Verdana, hey Mary. Oh, my earrings. These I made these today. <laughs> um, aren't they the cutest? So they will be coming in my shop also, and I have also a neutral pair. I'll grab the neutral one. The neutral, oh, I just dropped the stick. The neutral ones don't even have hooks on them yet, but I will show them to you. Hold on. Let me just grab one of each. How about that? And pick up the stick that I dropped. Um, <laughs> this hair, I can see it. And it's like little baby hairs. I don't know what it's doing. Hey, Vicky. Okay, so there's the one. Those are the ones I have on. And then I made this pair, too. These are metallic. All those are metallic colors. Aren't they pretty? Hey, Linda. Oh, gosh. You need some distractions. Well, hopefully we can do that for you. I hope he's doing well with his back surgery. Oh, you love these? I painted them today. They're all hand-painted by me. There's the back. And there's the front. And they match my shirt with the pink. So, I had to put... I was like, I'm going to wear a pair of these. I want a pair for myself. Hey, Julie. Thank you, Linda. Hello, Sherry. And here are the, these are all the metallic paints. So they're super pretty. But and there's the other pair. But they'll be up in my shop soon. I need to paint some more. Um, oh, yay, Judy, you made the tulips. I saw lots of y'all who made the tulips and they're so pretty. They're back there. They found their little home up here. Um, yes, everybody's safe and sound. And, um, it, it got rough. I mean, the wind, the wind blew terrible all day yesterday. And I kept, I, I woke up thinking when I looked at the timeline, uh, I got a wild hair. I do. Um, when I looked at the timeline of when the storms were going to come, I was like, oh, it's going to be seven o'clock tonight and I'll be out here going live. And here we are, severe weather, tornadoes, whatever. And I was like, well, I'll just wait all day and maybe, um, hey Jill, maybe it will you know, change. If they'll push it further up in the night. And uh hey Jamie, hey Tina. Um 
And so the closer it got, the closer it got, I was like, I, I just can't, I can't go live because I knew that it would hit about the time I was out here and I'd be able to hear it and not know what's happening. <laughs> and nobody can call me because my phone is on, you know, do not disturb. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Donna. Hello. Thank you, Anita. You picked real tulips on Saturday. How nice. How nice. I love the metallic too, but I also love these cool, uh, like I have on, but, um, I love these and the back of these are black. I didn't show y'all the back. These just got sealed and I just put these together so I could wear them cause I love them. Oh, Linda, you can't wait to get back home so you can get to craft. And hey, Diane. Hey, Joy. Hello, hello. Hey, Delphia. Delphia, I think you need to uh, join the other group, that new group that I have. That's I think you're one of the ones on the list that hasn't joined yet. But message me and I'll tell you. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Marsha. Rain heading that your way. It's probably that whole system. I don't know. Maybe it's not because Ohio is just kind of. Not far up from us. Hey, Jalen. Okay. So, <clears throat> I've seen this on, I have seen several of these on Pinterest. And I thought, well, I'm going to make this because it's Holy Week. We know that. Um, it's the Easter week, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, yes, Jane. She is doing good. Hey, my friend Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor. Um, hey, Samantha, I, um, I'm going to see Charlie this weekend, so we're going Saturday, and of course, the, her first Easter is Sunday, and I cannot wait to, um, oh, no, Karina, that's so sad, that's so hard, um, anyway, so I'm going to see her first Easter, we're going to die Easter eggs and all the fun stuff, and I can't wait to squeeze that baby, um, <laughs> hey, Barb. 24 degrees. Oh, <laughs> y'all need to let me blow some warmer air y'all's way, but it's not real warm here. It's like in the high fifties today. So, I mean, I've got on a long sleeve shirt. It's still chilly to me. Hey, Glenda. Yeah, I survived the storms, but I mean, it was just, it's just, you know, living in the South this time of the year, you've got warm air, you've got cold air and it comes together and sometimes things can happen, but you know, it's very, not very often, but the wind was just like fierce. I mean, they said go out with a, like a lamb in March. Well, it's not here. <laughs> it's been so windy. Um, yeah, Linda, I have it. I got to put these in the shop. I just like whipped these up today, like painted them today. How many inches are the tulips? Oh, like the tulip, the part, the top of it. I think the pattern has two. So one's like three and a half and one's three. If you're look, talking about the, um, the flower part itself. Oh, you just ordered some churches. Yay. Thank you. Uh-oh. Hey, Sue. <laughs> She's embroidering. Okay. So, we're going to make... I just went out in the yard yesterday because this was last night's craft. And I've got all these sticks. So, you kind of want straight ones because we're going to kind of make... We're going to make little crosses out of these. And this is free. Okay. Which is the best part. <laughs> Um, you know, if you can make a craft for free, it's great. Two above tonight. Oh. oh, Ruth, I haven't put the earrings in my shop yet. I just painted these today. Like, literally, these don't even have hooks on them any yet because I just painted them and they have to, I have to seal the front and I have to seal the back. I spray seal them and that takes a while because you have to dry one side and dry the other. And so, um... <laughs> they don't even have hooks yet. I just put hooks on these about five minutes ago so I could put, wear them. Um, starting to rain in North Carolina. That's probably what we got last night. It's just moving across. Hey, Debbie. Thank you. Um, 80 on Easter. Yeah, it's supposed to be warm on Easter for us, so I'm thankful for that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut. I mean, y'all, this is not um, real technical here, but we're just going to make these little crosses. And like I saw, I saw some similar on Pinterest and I'm just going to kind of put my own spin on it because I thought it was very cute. If I can cut them with my cutters and not have sticks flying all around the room, I think that'll be grand. But like, you're going to have to poke, take these little things off too. Yay, Sonia can see comments. Hey, Jeannie. Hello, Hazel. So I'm just going to kind of cut three. I'm going to do several different ones. And... 
gonna make a mess. Uh, so we're gonna do this, you know, several times, but just different ways. Okay, there's my. So I'm gonna do three, three sticks on the down part and three sticks going this way. Um, did you know he had, what, three nails? Sonia, I'm going down, we are going down there to see baby Charlie. Um, we're going to see her. We're going Saturday and coming back Sunday. And hey, Colin, speaking of Charlie, there is Colin. So I cannot wait to squeeze that little baby. They send me pictures and little videos of her and she's turning over by herself. And she is just growing up way too fast. And I'm just like, oh gosh, I just want to squeeze her. Um, so my first one's going to kind of be, I guess I could I could shut, cut one a little shorter to make it a little different. So it looks different. So basically I'm going to put three together like this. And then I'm going to, I might just kind of bundle it together. Instead of putting them next to each other, I think I'm just going to kind of bundle it. And I'm winging this because I'm just kind of figuring out how this goes. <laughs> oh, you made some for your preschool? We're doing a preschool craft. <laughs> no. Okay. We're going to deck them up and make them really pretty, though. All right. So, then I have this little bundle. I'm going to bundle it here. Now, I just got to figure this part out. Like, how? Because I'm just winging it, okay? <laughs> hey, Melinda. All right. Let me get my my little bitty jute and that's gonna help so i'm gonna tie them together hopefully i don't know we're gonna figure this out 10 months old and trying to walk wow i know i told colin and Paige. i said it's on now because it's getting started <laughs> she's uh after they start learning how to roll over it seems like it just goes really fast and they sit up by themselves and then they will be um crawling and then pulling up and into everything and that's all the fun stuff <sighs> candy can't see comments oh she had to put her kitty down that is so sad okay so i'm just gonna bundle mine like this i just tied a little knot like i said i'm just kind of winging this to see how we're gonna do this but i'm gonna do several different ones I, i've not done anything like this Looks easier than trying to fold your palm branches into a cross. Now, Rhonda, I have seen that done. Like, where they take the piece of the palm and they twist it around the middle and make a cross out of the palm thing. I have seen that, but now I, I don't know how to do that. Uh, one cross, three nails, four given. Oh, that's pretty, Judy. I've seen that done with the, with the tumbling tower blocks. I've seen that done. <sighs> I can see comments just fine. I got a new phone. Um, Sunday? Did I go Sunday? Yes. And it took two hours for everything to, to transfer over. Um, I was like, oh my gosh. So, but I I don't have, I guess I need to do this in the middle. Um, I don't have too terribly, hey Donna, I don't have too terribly many pictures because I try to go in and... Um, delete pick like every month because i take pictures of random just sometimes it's random like i'll see something and i want to go back and look at something you know somewhere so i'll just screenshot it and then whatever for whatever reason and um so i, I try to go it you know once a month and go through and delete ones i don't need i know it's been a sad week hadn't it susan okay so I just bundled my little sticks free in your yard and these little sticks, I just kind of bundled them and made like a little, um, a little jute tie around it. And so I got to get them together. So of course we're going to use the help of hot glue here and try and try and get them to stay together. <laughs> Close pin. I've seen the close pins too. Those are super cool. Round race with the glue guns. Oh yeah, that was last year. That little picture of the um the picture of the cross. I mean the crown crown of thorns, I think it was. It's over here somewhere. I had it the other day. It's around here somewhere. 
<laughs> oh, let's, yeah, we want to see the palm crosses. That would be pretty. Post those in the group. I don't know what that looks like. I know what the, you take the branch and you, the piece of the palm and they fold it to look like a cross. Okay, so I'm just, um, okay, so here's my little, you didn't know sticks could be that cute, but I think, I think I'm going to trim my ends. I'm going to have a little piece of the sticks. Dorothy's going to come in and be like, what in the world happened? Do you have some wood chucks up in here? Cutting, um, cutting up some sticks, but I see right now that I'm going to have to glue the bundles together because they kind of want to move around a little bit. <laughs> you going through your iCloud, you filled your iCloud storage. Hey, Jill. Okay. All right. So I kind of just put some hot glue on the, the so there's that. All right. So it's going to make a mess, y'all. Let's move this out of the way. So I have got, whew, like I said, I'm going to do several. Woo, that one's moving now. You can quit doing that. Okay. But how sweet would these be? I mean, you could, you know, I know it's Holy Week, but um, it's getting close to the end. But if you have, um, you know, things that you need to do with your Sunday school class or your church or something like that, these would be super easy to do because, I mean, it sticks from your yard, okay? So I've got... Um, I'm all, I found this in my greenery. This is part of a, obviously I've used what was there. So, uh, this is what's left. So I thought, well, these will be really cool because they look like palms. Yeah, wrap a figure eight around the middle. I might do that. That way it's going to help it support itself. I probably need to do that. Okay. So what should Sonia saying? I think it's Sonia. Yep. Yeah. Said, take my jute which is this this is my like fuzzy thicker and this is my thinner um and wrap it like this so it'll support the center so let's do that and that's going to make them look even more a little rustic but it's also going to give them some support hold on let's do that way Okay, so I'm just going to hot glue that down. All right, you stay right there. There we go. Yay! Good old old school and do God's eyes. Yes, okay. That, let's see. I got to trim. This is the fuzzy, that fuzzy jute. But see, I just kind of went around and around and around and around. Um, over and under and all that stuff. So, the picture that I saw, they had like greenery behind them like this. And I'm going to cut off that. So see this, oop, this looks kind of like a fern or a palm or something. I thought, I thought it looked kind of cool. So I'm going to put two or three behind there. Hey, Ashley, that's my friend Ashley with Painted Up. She is in my mastermind with me and she is such a sweet girl. Y'all go check out her page. She does lasering too, and she does like local classes and all kinds of stuff in her town. She's such a sweet, sweet, sweet. God's eyes 30 years ago. Okay, I don't know what that means. God's eyes. Am I missing something? What is that? Okay, so see, that's what I have so far. Look how pretty. And you can add flowers to these, which we are. Let's see, this one needs to go kind of that way. But you can fix these up so easy and y'all could do these before the weekend and like if you have like I said if you have a Sunday school class or whatever and you need a craft for some kids or just want to hand these out to people at church they'll be so pretty oh I bet that was pretty Sonia I did the cross last year where is it okay hey I'll grab it right here if y'all remember this one, this was probably one of my very favorites that I've ever, ever, ever done. And the crown of thorns has got to be hanging like this. This is probably one of my favorite things I've ever done. Um, so if you want to see this one, I need to put that back on the page. But this was last year, and I love this craft. 
is beautiful. To me, it is. I love it. Um, so we'll set that right there. But if, there's a replay on that one from last, um, hey, Nancy, from last year. Um, so that what made me think of that. There's a cross wrapped in yarn. Okay, so that's just called God's Eye, where you do this around the middle. That's called God's Eye. I've never heard that. Never, ever heard that. That is, that's neat to know, though. Hey, Sue. Okay, so we've got this. So look how cute that is just by itself. So if you even just had this, like, you know, on top of a stack of books or your Bible or in a dough bowl, it's just pretty just like that. But then we can add, um, I've got, like, all kinds of little flowers and um, different little things to add to it. You remember that craft? And uh, yeah, I, lots of people made that one after I did that one. But like, these are like little white, like little paper, paper little roses that I have. Um, with skewers. That would be good to make them with skewers. You could do that. You can use whatever you have. But you know, I think everybody probably has sticks too. <laughs> and that's, um, that's kind of, that's free. Look how, look how pretty this is. That's just simple and basic. And it's just, it's a statement. I think it's really pretty. Um, and if you wanted to make a whole bunch of these and you could give them out on Sunday at church or whatever you want to do with them, you could put them on your tear tray and prop them up. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make a bunch of different ones. Oh, it goes all the way to the ends of the stitch. You can use colors of yarn. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about now with the colors. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm going to look it up. Hey, Sharice. I did get my hair cut. I got my hair cut like a week or so ago. I got a bunch cut off. Um, Paper Roses. Old song. Who sang that? Paper Roses. I think somebody sang it before her, but... Yeah, but they're like little, I don't even know where I've got them, but I've, I've got like so many of these little paper flowers and I have pink ones. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to make some different, kind of different ones. So I've got, where's some bigger ones? I've got, I picked up some like bigger. So like you can see the difference in the width and I probably won't bundle these together. Let's see if I can... If I can cut this one. All right, let's see. I'm just going to kind of go all the way around and then I'll just pop it in half. Pop it. Ah, like that. <laughs> so see, it's not perfectly straight, okay? Um, Marie and Donnie Osborne, they sang that? You just got your hair cut off too, Donna? It was just, it gets to the point to where it gets too long and it gets in my way and I'm just like, okay. I got to cut it off and, um, okay, Marie Osmond sang it. I got Diet Pepsi in there now. No water tonight. Okay, so I'm going to do one like this. But, like I said, I'm going to kind of cheat. <clears throat> and I'm going to put me a dot of hot glue before I start trying to wrap because, you know, I need three hands when it comes to doing something like that. <laughs> Marie Osmond. I was thinking, I don't know. I was I was going to say somebody like Patsy Cline or even somebody like older like that. Loretta Lynn. I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking somebody like that. But I'm going to go and look up uh, the God's Eye thing. I'm going to look that up when we get off. Okay. All right. So I, so I kind of cheated and put some glue there. And then we're going to... Um, what if I have got, what if I wrapped it with like this, like instead of the jute? And so let's see what that looks like. It feels better, Rita. It just, I don't know. It feels better. See, okay, Elaine, see, that's what I'm saying. I think it's way older than Marie Osmond. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking somebody like way back. Uh... Oh, Stacy, I drink that. <laughs> I love some Cherry Coke Zero. But I haven't had a Pepsi in a while. And me and my husband had to run to Walmart a little bit ago. And they had it, like, in the little 20-ounce bo bottle. And I had to grab me one. So, I'm going to do it with this torn fabric. 
and go that way and then go this way and then I'm probably gonna leave it just like that Anita Bryant sang it and then a <laughs> it can pull the music Ron is gonna play paper roses for us here in just a minute you have tickets to see Donnie Osmond Okay, I just got to ask, how old is Donnie Osmond right now? I, I, I just got to ask. Anita Bryant. Okay, I don't even know who that is. Loretta Lynn in 1975. Okay, see, Loretta Lynn did sing it. So, I'm not totally nuts about that. Um, Tammy Wynette. So, see, I, I'm thinking way back like that, but I don't even know who Anita Bryant is. So, that's, okay, 1960. See, Sandy thinks it's Patsy Cline, too. I was thinking along that lines, but... I'm a Patsy Klein. Maybe, maybe she did sing it at one point. Alexa always knows. Alexa's always listening. <laughs> okay, Vicky just knows that Vicky don't want to date herself way back, so she's just gonna say Marie Osmond, which Marie Osmond's been around a while. I swear those people don't age. <laughs> hey Barb, Sonia says 63 or 65. Is that how old? Gosh, I was thinking he was older than that. He's in his 60s. 66, Janet said. We're just learning all kinds of things tonight, y'all, about the Osmonds and about paper roses. 66. Jill saw when she was in high school. Jill's trying to date herself. Okay, so there is this one. So it's like, do I like it like this? Or I think I like it with the crossbar in the, in the front. Okay, so I got that one. So now I've got this. I don't even know where I got this, but I think you can get it at Hobby Lobby. But I pulled it out of my little bin today, and this was the hot mess that it was. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I like to have not gotten it out of the bin because it was entangled in all of these. I have a little scrap bin that I put like little pieces of greenery in. Don't ask me how this became in, entangled in all of that, but it did. And man, Jean Watson... I know Marie Osmond, I, I promise you, she's looked the same for the last 25 years. Oh, he's 67. Siri says he's 66. Well, so she's, she's got to be like 70, unless they were like really close in age. Okay, so here's my little cross. So I think I'm going to, it's got wire in it. So it's super formable to this, to my cross. So I think I'm just going to do this with it kind of looks like it's got ivy growing up it how pretty is that anita bryant was the original singer of pave roses okay i'm gonna have to go listen to her uh her version now because i don't i don't know who she is she's probably way before my time okay so this is wire so i think it's gonna stay but look how pretty this is look how cute i love it i love it Purple blanket, because Donnie's favorite color was purple, and my mama made it for me. <laughs> That's so funny. Siri just came on when I said it. The village people. I saw the village people. The Indian was the only one that was an original. Gosh, now the village people, that's throwing it way back. YMCA. <laughs> Good cosmetic surgery. Is that what it is? It must be because, and then she's always doing, uh, was it Nutrisystem? Hey, Dana. Maria is, she's 64. Hey, Terry. 65. So she's younger than Donnie. I knew they were probably close in age, though. I always thought they were, but not real sure. I wasn't sure. Um, hey, Vicky, thank you. Anita Bryant was born in 1940. Maria's had too much plastic surgery, but she doesn't look bad. Well, I haven't seen her up close. Like, I just see her. Hey, Ruth, I just see her, like, on the Nutrisystem, and she's walking. You know, that's kind of what I remember. Last I remember seeing her. But, um, okay, so I'm going to go on my little, the side crossbar of the cross, I guess, is what it's called. Too many tools out here on my table. Singing crafts with Lee. <laughs> yeah, I don't want Facebook to throw me off for copyright infringement because, you know, if you have music or something, 
Donnie was your heartthrob as a teenager. Hey, Cindy. Marie is 64. So they're really close in age. Okay. So look how stinking cute this is. I love this. Okay. So I'm going to put... Um, I got all kinds of little bitty, like little greeneries and stuff. But I've got... I bought these at Michael's the other day. Indiana, the current biker ministers and married my son. They married your son and daughter-in-law. Oh my gosh, they were married by the village people? <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. He was yours in sixth and seventh grade. Yeah, so they're really close. So I'm going to take some of these little bitty purple. They came from Michael's the other day when I got them. I think I showed y'all. And I think I'm just going to glue them. Just like here and there in this little vine looking stuff. But you could just sit here and, yeah, Kenny Rogers. You could just sit here and just do, keep doing this and just do so many different versions of this little cross. And I was like, well, this is a kind of simple craft, but I love it. I love it. Sometimes it doesn't need to be super complicated and it doesn't have to cost a lot. I love that Donnie, the Donnie and Marie show, yes. Gosh, that's been, I don't even know. I think I was a little kid. All right, so see, I've got little purples on there. Look how cute. And these are sticks out of the yard. So, just so easy just to look around and see what you can use um, to, you know, to craft with. But I love the, the nature aspect of it. Let's put some here. You know, because he was crucified on a tree. The dogwood tree, to be exact. And that's when and God wouldn't let the dogwood tree after that. <laughs> Who didn't have a... Oh, now it says slow connection on my phone. What is it saying that for? Please don't go off. Bob Hope. Watched it when you were babysitting. I don't remember when Donnie and Marie show came on because I was... This internet cannot do this to me tonight. I don't know what's going on. It froze and it came back. So hopefully I'm back. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with simple. I know, but like when I do something like this, and if y'all didn't see this the other night, this we did this last, was it Thursday? This is like one of my favorites of all time. We did this last week. So it's like when you do something amazing that looks amazing, which I think it looks amazing, it's like the next one you think has to has to be even the next the next best thing so so it's sometimes it's hard to go small orange juice commercials oh i don't know i don't know who anita bryant is i'm gonna have to look and look at her picture yeah my my internet kind of froze for a minute and sean cassidy andy gibb and the bgs <laughs> well mine were people like my internet y'all what is going on is it facebook or is it my i have like full signal on my internet so maybe it's not me um i don't know maybe but we checked it earlier and it was fine cecile you might be right about that i got you babe <laughs> um he, they may not want me to talk about the cross, but that's okay, because I'm going to talk about it. They cannot want it all they want. Okay. Look how cute. Those are little purple flowers, in case you can't see the, the purple. But they're like very, very light lavender, and they're so pretty. The orange juice lady. I know, I'm freezing up. It, it's fine on my end now, but yeah, there's a lag. So, hey, Susie. It's echoing. What? Uh-oh, am I freezing now? I'm going to look up Anita Bryant when I get off. Oh, my gosh, it's freezing up. It must not be me, though. It's Facebook. Ugh, what are they doing to it now? All right, so here are the two I've got done so far. Aren't they? These are so cute. But you can make these small. You can make them big. You can make, you know, however you want to. You could do it like this one. And put it on the little, like a little mountain thing. 
orange juice commercial. See, I'm gonna have to look it up now. Okay, so now we're gonna do another one. Let's see what we're gonna do now. Let's do a smaller one. I know they're so cute and simple, and um, you're having high winds. Donna, we had high winds here yesterday. Oh my gosh. I don't think you could have fly, flew a kite. If you flew a kite yesterday, I think you would have ended up on the moon somewhere. Um, trying to find, so try to find you some straight sticks. <laughs> okay, Susan's good. You come on and go, but I didn't have an echo. Okay. All right, let's see if I can just break them. Because these are pretty much dead, so they're easy to break. Let's do... I know, I love these too. I mean, this is so easy, y'all. This Y'all can do this. It's so, so simple. And um, it has a big, powerful statement. But these would be cute to, like, if you're having Easter dinner, you could put them in the, you could put them in the plate. If you have the plate, if you set the table and all that stuff, you could have these in the place settings. You could do all kinds of stuff. Or you could glue them to napkin rings and make little napkin, uh, rings things holders whatever with them three inches of rain i don't know how much we ended up getting but uh it was a lot it was about two i think it's what they predicted that we were supposed to get and i think we did end up getting two but okay here's one i had trouble finding straight ones so i was just did my best and it'll be okay because we know that they're not straight Florida's orange juice. Okay, well, maybe if when I see her, I'll recognize the Florida orange juice commercials because I remember those. Do y'all remember that little, the little orange juice bird? Like, what happened to him? Kathy, okay, so the cross is made out of dogwood. Um, that's the kind of wood it was made from, a dogwood tree. And so after they crucified Jesus on the cross, made of dogwood tree, God, I guess, I wouldn't say cursed. That's probably not a good word, but somebody else can probably say it better than me. Um, and made it to where the dogwood tree would never grow, grow tall again. So dogwood trees stay really small and they fork really early. So they come, they come from the ground and then they fork. So like, you know, this high. So they can't make a cross out of it again. Um, I've always heard that. And then the flowers on the dogwood tree have the tips where the, the his, his, uh, the crown of thorns and then the nails. And then the, the center of the flower is the crown of thorns. Um, beach bingo movies. I don't know about all that. That was before me, I think. Beach bingo movies. Okay. I gotta look her up when we get off. Um, Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I can't glue this little bundle together. Then, rather than tying them, that glue makes it smell like burnt wood. Annette Funicello in the beach movies anymore? Yes, that's the truth. And then the tree, um, it, he made it to where it would never grow tall. You have to look up the legend of the dogwood. And most of the time you just see the legend about the flower because the flower is white and then it has the red little tips on the ends and that's for the blood. But um, uh, the they don't grow like, you know, they grow kind of tall, but they fork really early. So they can't make a beam out of it like they did for Jesus. So, yeah. Moon doggy. What's Janet talking about? Y'all are talking about beach bingo movies. <laughs> y'all are so funny. I love it when y'all start having these little conversations about random stuff. And all because we said something about paper roses. All because I said something about these paper roses. And then we went into, now we're all the way down to beach blanket bingo. <laughs> now we're on American Bandstand. <laughs> Okay, I've never seen Beach Blanket Bingo, but that's probably because of my age. So, maybe I need to watch that. Okay, so I've just done this again. You're old. No, you're not. You're just wise. <laughs> 
Okay, matches my shirt, look. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? The crown of thorns is the center of the blossom. Yes, that little, looks like a little raspberry looking thing. Okay, let's see how I want this one to be. All right, I'm gonna glue it right across. Hold it for a second. Has she passed away now? Is she not with us anymore? The Fly Nun with Nancy Fields. I've never watched that. Moon Doggy and Gidget. Now, I don't know who those people are. When she said Moon Doggy a minute ago, I was like, who is that? <laughs> Annette and Frankie. Now, I know who they are. Okay, so there's this one. I just kind of, I glued my little bundles together. The dogwood and the cross. Oh, the cross on the donkey's back. Now, that right there amazes me. So, if y'all don't know about the cross on the donkey's back, uh, it's called the Jesus donkey, I think. I'm not really sure the exact name for it, but uh, he rode in Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday, and they put palms, palm branches for the donkey to walk on, and Hosanna, you come in the name of the Lord, or the king of the, I can't, I can't remember how it goes. Um... And they praised him for being, you know, king of the Jews and all this kind of stuff. And then at the end of the week, of course, they crucified him. Y'all know how the story goes. But the donkey that he rode in Jerusalem, uh, into Jerusalem on has a black cross across its back now to this day. They have a black streak down the back and then one that goes across, just like the cross. So it's really, really cool. Just, y'all, my arms, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. But the whole symbolism behind all of that stuff is just, it just takes my breath away every time I, I talk about it or hear about it. It's just amazing. Um, and, uh, okay, let me tell y'all a little tidbit about this. Because when I remember um, a preacher that I had, he preached on this one time. And I'm going to get tears to come into my eyes because I'm just thinking about it because I will never forget this sermon that he talked about. Um, he was saying that, okay, when Jesus was put into the, when they wrapped him up and they put him in the tomb, okay, and when they, and they closed the thing, and then when they came back, he was, um, you know, he was gone, of course, and if you go read in the Bible, I'm not sure exactly what, which one of the Gospels is in, John rings a bell, but I'm not, I'm not positive, but, uh, his name is Clyde, <laughs> um, but it taught, it says that his, his clothes that he, that, you know, that he was, uh, they, they wrapped him in clothes, whatever it is, they, the burial clothes, those were just like thrown to the side. Okay. Like, okay, I'm done with those. But his face cloth, if you'll read it specifically says in the Bible that his face cloth was folded neatly and it was placed where he had laid down. And it was basically like, I'm done with the clothes. The, the face cloth kind of means I'm coming back. Because if you go back to Jewish history and, and their, their traditions, like when they got through with a meal, if they wasn't through with their meal, they would take their napkin and they would fold it and put it in the plate. Meaning I've gone to the restroom or whatever and I'm coming back to get it. So don't, don't take my plate because I'm coming back. So he took the burial clothes, threw the burial clothes away, but took his face cloth and folded it neatly and laid it on the little thing where he laid down. And so, he, meaning that I'm coming back to get it. So don't, just just wait, I'm coming back. And look, that that was that was the, probably the best sermon I've ever heard. And I thought, wow, just the, the symbolism of all of the history and the, the traditions and the bridegroom and the bride and all that stuff just, it's just amazing to me. Um, you heard that recently too. Yes, he's coming back. And, um, but he's done with the grave clothes. He threw them to the side. Like, I'm done with that. I'm not buried anymore. I'm gone. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. And he folded that napkin saying, I will return. I will be back. That was Jewish custom. 
And yes, it's there. It's written there. And it's just, you know, when somebody points it out to you in that way, it's just like, man, that's heavy. Yeah, because they had all of that symbolism. So it was just, it's just, it blows me away every time. Yeah, it means I'm coming back. He's coming back. Probably a lot sooner than we think. Um, the way things are going. Yeah, this is that little... I did this last year. And like I said, this was probably one of my fav most favorite. can't get the little... My crown of thorns is not wanting to do right. But I... Whoop! <laughs> ah! <laughs> my, little, my little drape is not draping. <laughs> okay. Stay right there. There we go. It's probably not right. Hold on. That's not right. Let me turn you around this way. My drape's not draping. Okay. Here we go. Now. But I did this last year. And I'll have to put it back up on my page. Um, I have not, Tammy. I have not heard that. Yes. That made me smile. John 27. 20 verse 7. So, yes. It's there. It says he folded it neatly and placed it down. But he took the burial clothes and threw them to the side um, because he's done with that. Uh, he's conquered it, done it, been there, and I'm done. Um, yeah, he's probably coming back a lot sooner than that. But, yeah, this was probably my most favorite, one of my most favorite ones. I love this. Um, and the way that I did the pot was with twisted uh, drop cloth. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so if you need to go look it up, it's John, here, sirens, it's John 20, verse 7. Thanks for somebody who looked that up for us. But we do serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. And I wasn't planning on going into like a whole fledged sermon, but there it is. Yes, the hot glue crown of thorns. I just had that the other day. It may be in my Easter stuff because I have an Easter bin. And it's probably in there. But um, but I like to do it at least a craft with some kind of meaning to it. And so this is this year. Yes, I love the crown of thorns. But y'all, these are so stinking sweet. How sweet is that? Yeah, with the glue. I loved it too. It was so fun. And that's so easy. You can do that crown of thorns so easily. I need to replay that one. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I've been telling y'all I was going to do the bunny. Perfect time. Yes, with the Holy Week. That's right. But, um, so if you don't know him, you need to know him, okay? Because he is coming back. He's coming back to get us. Uh, that's why he folded that napkin and said, I'm coming back. I'm not leaving you. But just some things need to happen first. And it's all happening right before our eyes. No, I need to see before the raft. I've seen um, the uh, Passion of the Christ. That was <laughs> amazing. Hey, Penny, I'm live. I'm You're not watching replay. I am live. Okay, so there's this one. We're going to get off into... Barb, it's okay. Whatever you made and if, however you made it, I'm sure he thinks it's beautiful and it probably is and you just trying to say it's not. <laughs> That's all. All right, I'm just cutting off little pieces of greenery. That movie, I can remember, you know, the, all the hype leading up to it and me and a friend of mine in our church was like, we got to go see this, we got to go see this and if, like a year or so before it came out, I knew it was going to be really good. And then it finally came out and like our church rented out. Um, it is Linda. Um, our church rented out like the theater and we went and saw it. And when I left out of the theater, I didn't, I, I left out of there a whole lot different than I thought I would feel after seeing it. Um, I need to see the crown. Oh, the crown. The chosen. I need to see that too. But anyway, 
Um, I, when I left out of the theater after A Passion of the Christ, I honestly thought I was going to feel, <clears throat> feel differently about it. You know, just have that feeling. But, like, when we left out of there, we went on a bus and everything. It was so, like a hundred and something of us. And uh, we went on buses. But I can remember leaving the theater, and I felt so shameful. I felt so guilty, so shameful. And everybody did. Like, none of us talked. We didn't talk on the way home. You just had this heavy feeling of, like, I just cannot believe what I just saw. Knowing that it was probably a hundred times worse than what was portrayed on that screen. Because um, they said that he was unrecognizable as a man. Um, so, I just can't even, I can't even do it. Yes, the sand dollar, Carol, sure does. And he said that everybody can just look around and know that there is a God that created everything. And his little signs are everywhere. Yes, Rhonda, that's how we were. We, we rode home on the bus like nobody talked. Nobody said anything. It's like we just sat there and you just have to kind of take it all in like, I just, I just feel shameful that it, even if it had been just been me, he would have done it just for me. And I just, yeah, they were. And the, the one part of the whole movie, if you've not seen The Passion of the Christ, you need to watch it. It is superb. It is very long, but it's so, so good. But, um, uh, the part that, the part that got me the most out of the whole entire movie and this, I have to find something and I'll show you. I've talked about this before, I think. So, when they're laying, they, they got the cross on the ground. And they're laying him down on the cross, on the ground, before they raise it. And they're about to nail him to the cross. And they show you this view like this. So, basically, you see his hand outstretched, you know, which is basically like this, okay? And, I guess, yeah. And the, the soldier takes that nail, and it, you're, you have a full screen view of just just his hand and the nail. And when he takes that nail, and he puts it in his palm, and it kind of bounced, you know, like in the flesh, you know, it, you know how your flesh just kind of goes up and down like that. I was like, I mean, I was just a hot mess. Do you understand me? I was. I mean, I was just bawling because just that, you know, you saw that thing bounce in his hand. I, I was just done after that. Um, it'll be on Friday night. Oh, it'll be on Friday night, which I have it on DVD. I bought the DVD and I've never opened the seal um, because I... <laughs> You see it once. I've seen it a second time, but it's like, it's just so powerful. It doesn't even need any words to explain anything in the movie. You totally get it. And then his, and then how they portrayed Mary at the foot of the cross and stuff. Woo! You'll start, you want to start watching tomorrow. It's getting close. Good Friday's coming. All right, so there's this one. We are just talking about all kinds of good stuff. It's good stuff to me. <laughs> Was that his hand in the movie? Oh my gosh. Mm. That, I mean, that part. Uh, yeah, now I've, um, John Travolta's committing commitment to this movie. Was John Travolta wasn't in it though. It was the man. It was I can't remember the man's name, but yeah, he got struck by lightning when he was up on the cross and they were filming it. He got struck by lightning while he was up there, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I wonder what channel is that going to be on. Okay, so here's this one. That's got the greenery behind it, and then I've got this. This is paper roses. Some these are from Hobby Lobby. Just a whole little pack. And I've got that, but I've got, hold on. I'll do that on the next one. Yeah, it, it, it you just kind of go through a bunch of emotions, but I didn't feel, coming out of that movie theater, I did not feel like I thought I was going to feel. Uh, it's a total different feeling of just, I just, I don't know. Like, I just can't believe that he went through that, and it was probably a hundred times worse. Um... 
and then beating him and all that stuff. Oh, it was bad. Okay, look how pretty this one is. Look how pretty. Y'all can sit here and do these so many different ways. Look, Jim, yes, yeah, Jim Caviezel, he had pneumonia, he was sick, yes, and he got struck by lightning while he was filming the movie. Look how pretty. Look, these are so pretty. They sell, I don't know, Sonia, I, I wish I had some, but I don't. Donkeys are born with a cross. Yes, they have, we talked about that, Tammy, with the, it's a Jesus donkey. They have that black stripe across it and down its back. It's just amazing. But there's that one. There's this one. And I can't even decide what's my favorite, but I love these. You know, you could even make these small enough to pin like right here if you made them tiny. Could be done. And these are sticks. <laughs> Y'all, these are sticks. And we can make something that's not expensive to make. And these are just like bits and things that I already have. Like the greenery. Like, look at this. <laughs> this is my greenery um, that I picked from. Hey, Sandy. And I could just literally sit here and just piddle and play with them. Thank you, Sandy. And I hope, I hope y'all make these. And like I said, if you just want to make a some and give them out at church on Sunday or put them on your, your markers, on your seating at your table Sunday or anything like that, I think it was, um, yeah, Jim Caviezel was Jesus. Yeah, I, I heard that too, Linda, that a lot of people were converted. Um... So, I was, I was thinking, somebody said something about John Travolta. John Travolta is uh, Scientology. So, he definitely needs prayer. Oh, okay, Judy, I'll look. Is on Up TV. I don't know. I have Hulu Live, so I don't know. I have to look and see if I have that channel. But yeah, y'all need to definitely try these. Let's see. This is so easy and just, and just pretty. Ah, uh, Marsha. Well, if I couldn't share it, I probably wouldn't be here. So, um, there's just so much, so much hate going on and just evil and wicked things. So, I know that he's got to be coming back pretty fast because, I mean, I just have to look at Sodom and Gomorrah and think of the things that were going on there, which I'm sure y'all know if you know the story. And he destroyed that so it's like how long is he gonna let this go um thank you jerry okay and i'm gonna be really upset if i wake up in the morning and this video is not on but there's a lot of people that share their faith on facebook so you know i don't think i'll it'll get taken down i do too barb i love crap talking with y'all nancy i didn't <laughs> i hope i don't have little bugs that come out I probably should have. So, Nancy is saying, did I put the sticks in the oven? Um, I did not. But, you probably should. I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind, to be honest. Um, you should put them on a cookie sheet, maybe, and put them at, like, 200 and put, cook them for a little while. Because, um, they might have little bugs in them. <laughs> Josie said, was it really graphic? The Passion of the Christ, absolutely, 100%. It was very graphic. You got to see every, yeah. When they hit him, was it the cat of nine tails? That's what the, it was like a stick. And it had like balls on it, I think. And it had, all those balls had like prong things on it. And they would just whip him with it. It's called a cat of nine tails. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, yes, Rhonda, we do. Um, it is very graphic. <laughs> um, I mean, every time he was struck, everybody in the audience goes, <gasps> like, I mean, and you just can't help it because it's just terrible, 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 terrible. Okay, this time I think I'm going to put, I got to see up TV is on mine. I'm going to put some in the middle of like, not in the back this time, but I think I'm going to put them in the front. Oh, and the donkey carried Mary to Bethlehem. That is right. Yes, yes. All those bugs are frozen up, Judy said. 
it was leather with steel balls. Yeah, it had, they had nails in them or some kind of spikes in them, but they had like, like they hung, they, I don't know. It was on like a stick and it had all these, I don't know, cat of nine tails is what it's called. So you can look that up. Yeah, I had to cover my eyes, right? I mean, I, like I said, when I came out of there, you know, I thought I'd just be, oh, I'm so glad he did that for me. But when I came out of there, I was just like, oh, he did that for me? It's just, yeah, mind-blowing. Oh, he had one in church on Sunday? Oh, my goodness. That's right, Dolores. And um, and if it had just been you, he'd have done it, just, he'd have done it anyway. Okay. And you know, and and us as people when I see other people out and about and you know, you're having a bad day and, and you want to lash out at people and stuff, you have to remember that he did that for that person, that person, that person. He did it for Lori, he did it for Jane, he did it for Carol, he did it for everybody. And so you have to look at people through those those glasses, which is hard some of the time. It's really hard, especially if somebody's not being so nice. Um, that you know, they're they're just as willing and and worthy of it as you are. Um and at least never had a um never had a uh bugs in her sticks. Okay, so this is my little bit of moss. I'm gonna see if I can do something with this. I gotta see the chosen. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe Colin was talking about it. I don't know. So I'm going to try to glue like a little ball in the middle and see. Hey, Elizabeth. There's Elizabeth with Ellie's Attic. How are you, my friend? Okay. So this one, I'm going to do this one different. So this one, I'm going to put the moss in the center. So here's the first one. See, I did the greenery in the back. And then here's this one. Oh! My greenery's coming off. I don't have enough hot glue, I guess. That's shocking. Okay, so there's the next one. Like that. We're using sticks. <laughs> and then that one. Oh, yeah, in a shadow box. That would look good, Trava. That would look really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to try to tame this ball of stuff. Oh, Betsy, you've been blessed. I'm so glad that, you know, I'm so glad that we can talk about it freely and that we live in a place where we can, um, loosely translated. Yeah, Carol, I'll wrap a couple of them that way. I'm going to try to just do this like this. Like, I just want this little, I don't know. I'm just winging it, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kind of going with whatever. Okay, so I've got this like little ball of moss in the middle. The crowd, this one wrapped the cross wrapped in the greenery. I know. So I think this this may have came from Hobby Lobby, but I don't remember. But it's wire, so it you know it'll stay wherever you want to put it. But I mean, you can make these big, and you could go outside and get you some bigger sticks than what I got. Y'all know I like everything kind of smallish. Um, like this will go on a tiered tray. Like I said, you could put this in your dough bowl. You could put it on your place settings on your, your, you know, Easter Sunday dinner. You could just leave these places for people to find them. That would be cool, too. How people leave, like, little rocks and things. You could leave these with a little note and leave them somewhere. That would be, that would be fun to do. And somebody maybe finds it that needs it that day. Okay, so I've got these little bitty baby pink flowers. I have, I don't know where I got these. I've had these forever, and I think I've used them on, it's a wonder I still have anymore. I've used them on lots of little crafts. So I'm going to try to poke them in my, whoop, poke them in my moss little nest here I got going on. Maybe. They're like little bitty. Could put in peat pots. Yeah, Sonia, this is this was a um was this a peat pot? No, this was a bucket from IKEA. That was a bucket. I was thinking this was a peat pot, but I covered it with um actually I braided this. 
this is braided drop cloth and then that's drop cloth and those are sticks and this was I made this little wreath out of one of these like unraveled one of these and made the little crown of thorns up here and then that's burned paper easy 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 but such a big statement and that was like a, a styrofoam spear sphere <laughs> words are hard sometimes Dollar Store wire wreath. Oh, yeah, they have those. Um, the Dollar Tree has the cross wreaths. That would be pretty, too. I've seen those. I haven't seen them this year, though. And mine. Ah! Knocking over everything. I'm just going to put glue in there and then poke it down in there, maybe. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have so where do I watch The Chosen? Where does that come on? Or station or channel? Is it Netflix or is it where is it where I can watch it? I've heard about it, but I don't know. Oh, Brenda's gonna make she's made the decision. She's going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow to get the greenery to make her grandkids a cross. That's so sweet. Five, seven dollars? Oh my goodness. So I'm just making like this little, that's what I got so far. <laughs> so when, if you go looking for flowers, just trying to, oh, it's on the chosen app. Um, just find, try to find some flowers that's got little bitty, like little bitty flowers. Um, that kind of stuff. If that's, you know, whoop. Um, so you can, it's a, yeah, I knew it was a series. I think Colin and Paige told me about it. Oh yeah, Lindo, this is what we're making. Taking sticks from our yard <laughs> and we are making this. Okay, there's an app. Oh, Mary, you're welcome. Um, I just hope it, you know, I know it touched y'all, but I hope somebody needs that needed to hear it hears it. And y'all know what I mean. Um, where I can watch the chosen several. Okay, several options. I can ask Colin too where they watch it because they have the same kind of stuff that we have, like Hulu and they have Netflix and um paramount and all of that stuff they have all that like we do so and we're gonna be at his house and i want to say him and Paige were the ones that were telling me about it amazon prime peacock and netflix oh okay i have uh prime and i have uh, netflix oh danielle needed to hear it that's right up TV. Okay, I'm gonna look for Up TV as well. Yeah, the, um, seems like a, somebody else had, uh, maybe Colin had told me that that you know it's not exactly straight with scripture, but it's the whole main point of it is pretty good. Now that I remember, I, I know it was Colin and Paige when I was at their house one time and we were looking at. Um, stuff. Linda, your, your branches are wet and snowy. Well, just keep this in mind when you, when it thaws out, because you can still make them. It doesn't have to be Easter, right? It doesn't have to be Easter with the letters and call them Jesus dollars and leave them as a tip. With the letters. Okay, I'm, I'm lost on that one. So explain that to me about the letters. Up oh, and faith and family. Okay, so I just took these little bitty pieces of this greenery. I like this one. And I just kind of glued them and poked them in there around the flower. So it kind of looks like a little, like a little bouquet on there. Isn't that pretty? The chosen app. Oh, with the letter J? Okay. I got you, but look how, just that simple is so pretty. And I know y'all have got, I know you have sticks, if they're not under the snow. 
Go get you some out in the snow and bring them in. Let them dry. Put them in the oven for 200 degrees. Let them bake a little while. They'll dry out. Um, Laura, your pine trees. I saw something about that the other day. The pine trees, the little the little stuff that has the pollen on it. See, our pine trees don't do that. They have, um, theirs are like in a cluster. But y'all's come in like a cross. And I did see something about that. But that's really cool. But there's that one. There's this one. I like the singles and I like the bundles too. I think it just, I don't know. But look how sweet. But you could put these like, you could give, if people were coming to eat with you on Sunday, put them in their plates or you could put them in a bowl by the door and give everybody one when they leave. And I think it's just super neat. And they can put it on their dresser, on their desk at work and just, so they'll have a reminder every day of, you know, what took place and what happened. I love these. And you could just do all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could just do them so many different ways. I could sit here and do them for a long time. Oh, wow. Thank y'all. First communion, yes. I really hope y'all make some. I want to make, see if I can make a smaller one. And they are pretty for any time, yes. Or a Christmas tree. Y'all, put them on your Christmas tree. What's Christmas about? I know we always talk about his birth at Christmas, but, I mean, you got to have the whole story. No, Anita, the tattoo on my wrist, it is like a splatter of paint, which I want to come and have some of it touched up because I don't like the way that that was done. But that heart right there in the center of it, um, you're going to make me get upset again. Um, that was the same heart. So, my best friend Deidre died in 20, 2021 from a rare form of cancer. And uh, she and I had been best friends for over 30 years. And we went, um, the first tattoo that I ever got, I got it with her. And we had the same tattoo on the same foot, in the same spot, everything. And it's a little dove, and he's holding a dandelion. It's got a little heart over it. We just liked it. There was no special meaning behind it, nothing like that. We just liked the ta the tattoo. So we both got it same day, everything. So the day that we got those tattoos, she got another tattoo on her, the top of her other foot because her mother had just passed away. And she got that heart, that swirly little heart right there. Um, she got that heart on her foot, on the top of her other foot, her right foot. And, um, so when she passed away or was, ha you know, she was in the process of it. I couldn't be there because of COVID. Um, only, you know, her people, like a family member or two could be in the room and I, you know, so I didn't get to be there. But anyway, I had her son take a picture of it for me because I knew that when she passed away, I was going to get a tattoo for her and, um, <laughs> Linda, Linda can tell you. Linda's from my hometown and lived where Deidre was. She, she's a sweetheart. I have a little shelf up here that's got all kinds of stuff on it of hers or mine and hers. Um, anyway, so I got that tattoo because I wanted her on my left hand. She was, she was my left hand. Like she, we did everything together. I, I mean, from when I went into adulthood up until now, like, Every greatest moment in my life, every big milestone of my life, every milestone of my kids' life, all that, she was there. She was in the room when both of my kids were born. So, if that tells you anything, <laughs> um, she made me executor of her will. Just, <laughs> I mean, it just goes on and on. And so, we, um, she was my best friend. And so, I knew that when she passed away that I was going to get a tattoo. And I did. She passed away on uh, April 10th. It will be three years she's been gone. And I went in July and had that done. Um, we went to church together for many years. We were in Sunday school together. Oh, how sweet. Okay. So anyway, she was. She was like my sister that I never had. She knew everything. I never had to tell her anything about the past because she had lived it with me. 
and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. So if you have a best friend like that and you've been best friends with them your whole life, uh, call them when we get off here and say, hey, I love you. I just want to tell you I love you because I just wish I could hear her voice one more time and, you know, for her to call me one more time and say, oh, I've got a dilemma. I need your advice. <laughs> that was her word. I got a dilemma. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, she was my sister for sure. Your birthday is April 10th. So she found, oh gosh, Stacy, I think you told me that. It's, you know, and, and I still catch myself at certain times thinking, oh, I need to, I need to call. And you just, you can't. You just have to wait till that feeling passes. And... It's the uh, same way with my mom, though. You know, you just kind of think, I need to call my mom. Um, you can't. Oh, I know I'll see her again. And she's going to be like, ha, ha, beat you up here. <laughs> but there's so much I want to tell her, and I know she knows, but it's still different. Yes, her youngest son got married last February. And when, when she was passing away, he had just started dating a girl. Um, and Deidre never met her. And so I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to dance with you at your wedding. And uh, I'm going to cry. And he was like, you, you better bet you are. You know, she wouldn't want anybody else to do it but you. And I did. It was tough. But I did it. She is, Brenda. Oh, Linda. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember. Is it been a long, long time ago? Yeah, we were... We were clo very close. I mean, she knew things about me that she took to the grave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I still know things about her that I'll take to the grave. Just... That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what I want to use. Okay. It may be too big. I want to use this bling that's got a pearl in the middle. But it's kind of big. You cry with me every time, Sonia. Well, I'm not crying by myself. But I do. I miss her every single day. Her little pictures up here and a bunch of other little stuff. And, I mean, she was my one of my biggest fans. She's like, if anybody can do this, you can. And, um... She was in the hospital and you were checking on Ronnie. Yeah, I was, I stayed, that was the week, that was March before she passed away. She was in the hospital and she was, it was kind of bad. And then that was the last time I ever saw, saw her, saw her in person was then. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, I understand I've been there, done that and it's not fun. It's not fun. I wish I could tell you it gets better. It does get better. I think you just learn to live with it is what it is. But if you didn't love them so much, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't hurt so bad. So you just love them, love them a lot. Okay, this one is little and I just put like a little, a little blingy on that one. I know, Joy. I do. I hold on to the memories. I mean, because there's not, there's not a lot that doesn't happen to me that I go, oh, that one time Deidre and I did this or that one time we did this or we went here. And I mean, we have so many stories. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's somebody that I didn't think it was rare to have a best friend, like for your whole uh, adulthood. I, I, I didn't really think that was a rare thing until, you know, she passed away and people started telling me, oh, that's a rare thing to have a friend that long, you know, and she'd been through everything with me. My, I've been through everything with her, her kids, my kids, deaths, marriages, weddings, you know, all just everything. I mean, she, you know, it was just like, she was always there and, and it never, um, it never, I never had to tell her anything because she experienced it all with me. So it's just one of those things. Donna, you have a best friend you need to call her and tell her you love her. <laughs> 
Oh, Angie, that's so sad. Your little brother. You gonna be making some, Susie? <clears throat> Look how cute. So you can make them tiny. You can make them, try to make them small. But, I mean, you can make them small enough and put like a little pan back. Look how cute that is. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. That's terrible. Rectal cancer. Hey, Shawnee. Mm. Yes. All the joy it brought to your life shines through. Yep. My husband passed away three years ago. That's terrible. Um, but there's not a day that don't go by that I don't think about her or want to tell her something. I sit here and talk to this picture all the time. Uh, yes, Laura, you need to call her. And I tell people that all the time because I know people that's got best friends that have been best friends for a long time. And I'm like, I didn't think that 30 years, you know, that was all I was going to have um, over 30 years. Since my whole adult life, since I like turned 18, we were best friends. And she was only 50. You know, we always thought we'd grow old together and we joked about, oh, we're going to be in the nursing home together and we're going to cut up and act crazy. And you just don't ever know. I mean, she found out January 1st of 21 that she had cancer. And then April 10th, she was gone. So it's just, I mean, I, I don't even know how to explain that kind of, uh, it was fast. Like, we had just went to the mountains, Smoky Mountains, for her birthday in November. I went with her whole family because I was part of the family. You know, I was part, you know, I was there for everything. Um, so they just, I was just expected that I was going to be there. So me and Chase went with her whole family and stayed in a cabin in Gatlinburg or T Pigeon Forge. And she was fine. She, she took every step we took. We went everywhere. We did everything. She was totally fine. And then Christmas, she started not feeling good. And then she found out January 1st and then three and a half months, not even three and a half months, she was gone. It was just, it's just so fast and you, you just, you're, you can't wrap your mind around it. Um, oh, wow. Tina, mine too. My dad passed away. We found out he had a brain tumor and they said, we give him six weeks and he made it five and a half. But you know, for some people, that's probably the best way though. They don't, you don't need that long drawn out for months and months and months. Um, it's just, mm. So, yeah, so if you have a best friend like that, that has knows everything, you because I said so, you need to call them, text them something, and say, hey, I just want to tell you I love you, I appreciate you, and for everything you've ever done for me. Um, Gwen, she had, um, she had a type, a T-cell lymphoma, and her, her oncologist said he'd only ever seen it once in his career, and he had never treated it before. And he said that he will probably never see it again in his career. Um, they had to send off her stuff to John Hopkins to get a definite diagnosis of what kind of cancer it was. Because it was rare. So, um, mm, I can't you, that's terrible. Oh, wow. A month. Barb, that's not long. But some people, you know, like, like my dad, you know, he was active and everything. And then we find out he has this huge tumor in his head and then he made it five and a half weeks. Some people, it just needs to happen that way. Like, I don't know. It's just, just crazy. Stacy, you spend all the time you can with her. That's all I can say. And because I live so far away from Deidre, um, four hours away, you know, now, it was, you know, I was... I would go down there. She called me and said, you need to call him. I'd go. Um, but uh, you still wear that t-shirt, Betty. I still have mine and I have hers. Um, so, yes. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah, we all we all need it. We all need prayer, I'm telling you. Because everybody's got some kind of hurt or something going on. If you don't, it's coming. If you don't have one, then it, there's one coming around the corner. But it's all good, you know, it's all the way it's gonna be. And we know how we know how it ends though, right? We all know how the story's gonna end. He's gonna be victorious. 
And we know that because he folded up that face cloth and said, hey, I'm coming back to get you. So, um, oh, wow, Sharice, that's sad. But, yeah, so we know we can all be happy that we know how the story ends. Um, he's gone to prepare a place, and we know that he's coming to get us if we don't pass away before then. I'm, I just think it's going to be a lot sooner than we think. I think the trumpet's going to sound any time now because I just, it's just so bad, y'all. All over, everywhere. Not just our country, but everywhere. Um, okay, Kathy, thank you. Aw, yeah, prayers for everyone. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are just such a group of sweet people, I swear. I don't know what I did to deserve all of y'all. Um, dang, Mickey, that's tough. That's done. It is done. He's not. That's right. He's not. So. <sighs> yeah, Pamela, stuff happens in here all the time. Like, I know y'all know, like, lights will flicker and stuff will fall off the table just randomly and uh and when it happens when dorothy's here she'll say oh that was just deidre and like we just replaced this light bulb in the front of this room it's like one of those can lights with the floodlight in it we just replaced it and it was working for you know a week or two and now it's just kind of like flickering and it's like i know but i've been live before and stuff will just fall off the table over there and i'm like I ain't over there. I'm not touching it. So, yeah. So, I think I do believe in stuff like that. Yeah. So, maybe I'll have a dream about her. I dreamed about her two nights ago, I think. Yeah. So, I think so too, Jane. I think so because the Bible says when the temple, when uh, Israel is declared a nation again, that the gener generation that sees that won't pass and, and he will come back, you know, his return, something to that nature. And that happened in what, 1949? I don't remember. But anyway, so it's, it's, it's predicted that. But who knows? We don't know. Oh, thank you, Judy. Y'all make it special too because y'all come up here and y'all watch me every, every night I come live and. If it wasn't for y'all, I'd just be going out to the void somewhere. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's why I do what I do. If I can just touch one person, um, then I know I've done what I've done. And I get so many messages from all of you that tell me, you know, oh, you've helped me through COVID. You helped me through this. And your little note in your in the package just made my day. It got, I got it at the right time. You know, stuff like that. And that's how I know that I'm where God wants me to be. And because I want to hear. When I get to heaven, I want to hear. You used all the talent that I gave you. And y'all, it's been a long time since I've cried a lot. But that's what I want to hear when I, when I get to heaven. Is well done, my good and faithful servant. And you used all the talent that I gave you. Um. Because, you know, it's not easy to get up here and it's not, it's not easy to share your faith or talk about anything with people you don't even know. And your criticism, you can do all the, you know, people can criticize you for everything you do. And luckily, I don't get a lot of hate comments. I don't get a lot of hate. I don't get a, any of that, you know, at all. And, um, you know, I... I'm, I'm blessed because I don't get a lot of that. Because a lot of crafters do get a lot of ugly comments. Every once in a while, somebody will come on and say, you talk too much. Well, no duh. <laughs> but I, if I sat here and just looked at y'all and didn't say anything, it wouldn't be fun. But um, but anyway, but that's, you know, I know that I'm doing his will and I'm right where he wants me to be. And um, that's what I want to hear. You used every bit of talent that I gave you. That you didn't bury it in the sand to save it for later because you were scared you were going to run out of it. Y'all know the parable. Um, I I want to hear well done and you used everything I gave you. Um, I just wish I could have started using it 20 years ago. <laughs> but that wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to be x-raying and taking care of patients. Um, so 
he uh that's where he had me to be and then he changed my direction so i hope so tina it's gonna be right next to yours right <laughs> so anyway so y'all i'm gonna hop off i want to see all of y'all's little baby crosses aren't they so cute i just love them dorothy's gonna be like i want that one <laughs> Aren't they cute? So, um, y'all, yeah, I gotta let it out, Donna. I keep it in a lot, um, because, you know, everybody thinks, oh, you're on here, you're, you know, doing all this, and, oh, you're it's cute, you make crafts and stuff, it's cute. No, <laughs> I have a whole greater, higher purpose for what I'm doing. Um, thank you, Rhonda, I'm so glad, um. I, I didn't intend for this live to go this way. I promise I didn't. Um, but I just, I just try. Oh, thank you, Linda. You're so sweet. I'm so, I, I hate that for you. Um, me too, Tammy. And sometimes it's just, I, I'm sitting here using a craft to sit here and talk to all of you. And somebody else that may stumble on this and go, hmm, I need to know about all of this stuff. And then they start researching a little bit about the dogwood and they start researching about the face cloth. They start researching all that stuff and then they get into his word. And then, you know, God can do, take just a little bitty seed of something, just like the acorn. He can take that little bitty acorn and he can grow a mighty oak out of it. I may not see that mighty oak one day, but I started the seed and, you know, he gave me the knowledge to start the seed. And from that, a big great oak is going to grow from something, you know, hundred, a hundred year old tree from something that was said a hundred years ago. So I do believe that Debbie, I do believe that a lot of times you get, you know, and I, I, I pray before I come live, I'm like, Lord, just use me and whatever you want me to say, I'll say. So just put the words in my mouth and you just, I'll just be your tool. So, um, yeah, if I can delete just one Vicky, that's right. And I and I know I know I have done that because I've I've been a witness to people that have you know accepted the Lord. So yes, I know that's happened. And there's gonna be many more that I don't know about. Um, but you know I'll get to see all y'all in heaven one day. <laughs> yes, it was Marcedia's good. So anyway, um, so I love y'all as always. I love all of y'all and why I I get to do this. Um, I love y'all so very much, and I pray for y'all every night, and um, y'all are so sweet. So anyway, so we needed this. Somebody needed this. I needed this. <laughs> it may have just been for me, but somebody out there probably needed it too, and so call your best friend. Tell them you love them, um, and go look up the face cloth. We said, what, it was John 20, verse 7, and do a little research about that face cloth because it's just going to blow you away. So, anyway, so I love y'all, and I will see y'all, what's today? I'll see y'all Thursday. Today's Tuesday, right? See, I'm all messed up because I'm thinking it's Monday. It's not. I'll see y'all Thursday. All right, guys, I love y'all. Y'all have a good uh, Wednesday, and I'll see y'all Thursday. So, bye, guys. See you later.